Alrighty you guys, welcome back to Beauty on a Dime. Today I'm going to be unboxing my Boxy Charm Base Box. Behind me you'll see the premium box and let me just pull it forward so you can see the big difference in the size. The base box is $25 and the premium box is $35 and the products are just supposed to be a little bit more deluxe with the premium and it's just a $10 difference and with the base box you receive um, five products with the premium box you receive six to seven products so we'll see which box wins this month but oh lord I still got the FedEx thing on my, my box but yes let's open it up and get started see what we got in here and like I mentioned before it's $25 it's a monthly subscription box and you do have to be uh, signed up for the base box to sign up for the premium box because there is a waiting list and hopefully they'll be getting rid of that soon because it's crazy. Ooh. Okay, so here we go. Yes, I got excited because I saw the um the little uh beauty blenders in here. So yes, I got excited about that. So let's see. Well, of course I'm gonna show you these first. So, for some reason, um, I knew what I was getting in my box beforehand because they sent me an email with everything that was in the box instead of putting the insert in. So, I don't have the insert and I really don't want to have my phone out and flipping through. I'm not that good yet. I'm still new. And just in case I didn't mention it, this is the Boxy Charm Base Box for February. Now, I received this box well before February 10th so it came pretty fast I'm very glad about that but I'm just a little slow recording things so and I'll just have the product name and how much it uh, the retail value on the screen somewhere but I just want to tell you I'm excited about my uh, I got it upside down <laughs> I'm excited about my my uh, sponges I really wanted these and I'm not gonna lie I wanted the brushes and the sponges so guess what I'm hoping and I'm praying that I get the box, the brushes in my my base box, which I'm gonna be recording that video next. Cause you know your girl gotta split these videos up, okay? I ain't got that many ideas, okay? So here's my brushes, my, my sponges. Okay, so you have the Luxie Detail Blender, the Luxie Precision Blender, and the Luxie Powder Blender. So hopefully I'll be doing a tutorial with these sponges soon. Woo woo. And I'm not gonna lie, I watched one of my favorite YouTubers and I saw her using this earlier. And Pretty Little Nurse. So, yes, I saw her using this earlier and I liked how it looked on her, even though she didn't like how it looked. She was like, I look a little white or something, but I loved how it looked on her. So, a little bit goes a long way with this powder. So, it is the Siete. Siate Everyday Vacay Coconut Setting Powder. So I cannot wait to try this on my skin. I don't bake, but I do like to, I'm struggling with this box, but I do like to brush a little powder under there just to set it a little bit. So yes, this is what it looks. I love the packaging. It is very nice. Yes, I love this. And I knew I had got it already when I watched her video earlier. So it's sealed off. So can't smell anything but I cannot wait to try mine so of course she opened hers up and tried it on camera when she was unboxing her stuff so woo woo and there was a few people I watched some other um Yari G too and she was just like these are great so I can't wait to try these I remember from her video that they're valued at $17 <laughs> so yes facial radiance pads by first aid beauty Fab, Fab First Aid Beauty, alcohol free, alcohol free sans alcohol, alcohol. Okay, so I can't wait to try these. And a lot of the other YouTubers that I watch have used these, so I cannot wait. It is sealed off, so that's good. So can't wait to use these. Whoop whoop. Facial radiance pads help exfoli exfoliate, tone, and brighten. All right, now I want to try this. I can't wait. 
And, to, and you think, I only paid $25 for this box and this one product is $17. So I, I've already un unboxed two things. So y'all know how I feel about that. The two, oh, I see something. Whoo, we're going to do that one last. So we'll know how that one's going to go. So I also have some Evio Skin Aurora Refreshing Cleansing Hemp Wipes. Wipes. Okay, so this is like, is it a makeup remover? It says, gently massage a single cleansing wipe over face in a circular motion, taking care around the eyes, no need to rinse for maximum results. So I think it's just a face wipe. I don't think it's a makeup remover. If I'm wrong, I'll put it on the screen. So yes, and that's what it looks like. I can't wait to see what this is valued at. So I'll put the name and the value on the screen. Whoop, whoop. And last but not least, this is the item I picked. I said a little prayer. It took me a couple days to pick and to go through the shades because I did get the samples and I did swatch them. But the color that I swatched and the one that I felt was my shade was not an option. Box your charm, what happened? Don't be sending me samples and then don't give me my shade option. So maybe I was just a little late on the game, you know, because I work, I work nine to five. I got to work so I can't be on boxy charm. So it could have been that I was just a little late going on there. So I'll forgive you for that. And we'll see if this shade works for me. It's the Becca foundation. Who would not want to pick a foundation? Do y'all know how much foundation cost? And this is a high end concealer. 24 hour foundation the day that I would ever need to wear foundation for 24 hours mm -mm. but let's open her up you know these days you can make a bad foundation work if it's too dark you can just mix it with something else if it's too light you can just use it as concealer or spot or something but this is the way the shade looks oh you guys I don't know let's just talk about the packaging Packaging is nice, and we all know that the packaging can be deceiving. So let's open it up. It's a pump. It's so pretty. I am just hoping that this, I do not want to pump this, so we're going to twist this open and see what we can do. Oh, look at that shade. It looks like some of the shades that I use. It looks like my shade, y'all. Okay, I'm just, I'm just dabbing a little bit on my hand right there just to see. And then I'm twisting it back on, putting her back together, my high end foundation with my cheap self. Oh, that's what it's looking like. Oh, can y'all see that? It is looking a little light. And of course, I already have on foundation, so I'm not going to be able to tell. I'm not going to be able to tell. I'm so silly. Let me put some on my chin. I want it to work so bad, but we will see because she is going now. I'm going to have to do a get ready with me with this foundation. And you guys, y'all, she don't got up. She is serious and I'm not editing that out because this is real life on Beauty on the Dial with Shay Shay. Okay. So I went ahead and grabbed my Estee Lauder Double Wear in the shade Rich Cocoa. And of course, my Fit, fit Me in, uh, what is this, Coconut Mocha? I uh, know in Mocha Nut. Mocha nut <laughs> and mocha. So I am so having anxiety about will this shade work for me that I'm just going to try to swatch these shades next to each other to see how they work. Look, I got so much stuff on my hand from previous videos. This is a makeup wipe that I had on hand. We're going to swatch all these shades and see because I am having anxiety. I'm like, why did I put on makeup? We all know why I put on makeup. I can't be coming on camera looking too crazy. Okay, so just let my hand dry. We're going to swatch these and see. Because I am dying to know it. I cannot wait till next weekend. That is just too long. Okay. Okay, so. I'm doing my Maybelline Fit Me First. Lord, I am wasting foundation. Number one rule, don't be wasting foundation. And then I am swatching 
my Estee Lauder. And it's so funny because all of these shades work, but they are looking different. Like, see, look how different those look. And so I was like, you can make a foundation work. So, wow, that Estee Lauder is looking really light. Well, my favorite foundation of all time is the Maybelline Fit Me in Mocha. So let me just make sure I don't have any makeup on my hands. Okay. Now let's swatch this one. Yes, I think I'm going to be able to. Oh, Lord, this is a little messy. Okay, get that back in there. Oh, Lord. Okay. Okay, did that go back in there right? Okay, it did. Okay, so. Alrighty, you guys. So, I have all the swatches on my hand. Um, up top is the Becca, which is a little yellow. I, I put a lot of it on here. That's why it looks like that. In the middle is the Estee Lauder Double Wear in um, Rich Cocoa. And at the bottom, I have Maybelline Fit Me in the Mocha. As you, as you can see, it's my best match. This one is a little yellow. This is running a little orange. This one in the middle is neutral. Estee Lauder is neutral. So I'm worried. I'm worried about this being a little yellow. So we'll see. I'm going to do a get ready with me if I look like a Balupa at the end of it. No Balupas are orange, so I don't know what I would look like, a banana. But regardless, we're going to record it and pray that I can make it work. I don't know because I usually gravitate, gravitate towards warm orange shades. So we'll see. And you already know what I'm saying. If you stuck around this long, I hope you subscribe. It's free. Uh, comment down below. What did you get in your box? What did you think about this box? I only paid $25, so I got a lot of good things. Even if I can't make this foundation work, it's still a good box because I received a lot of other great things. So, and of course, this is great. It's just the shape may not match me. So I cannot wait till next weekend when I do a get ready with me with this foundation. And so comment down below. What do you think? Am I going to be able to make it work or not? And give this video a thumbs up. And as always, thank you for watching Beauty on a Dime with Shay Shay. Boop.